Hi friends, welcome to another Audacity tutorial video. In this video, we will learn how you can install VST effect plugins and use them in Audacity in real time. What is VST plugins? VST plugins are developed by Steinberg in the name of Virtual Studio Technology plugins and this is developed by hundreds of third-party software developers and they are great plugins and can be used in any DAW or digital audio workstation. Fortunately, Audacity can support this great VST effects developed by third-party software developers. And as you know that Audacity is currently is 32-bit version on Windows. So we will download some 32-bit version of VST effect plugins. For that, I chose Coco's Reaper, Replugs, and other great developers of DAW or Digital Audio Workstation, very similar to Audacity. Coco's has offered uh, here Replug VST plugins freely available for 32-bit version and 64-bit version. For Audacity, we will download 32-bit version plugin. So after download, you will go to your installer and start your installer and you will be seeing that lot of uh, option to select i i recommend that you select all of them because they are all great plugins next and here you can see the default vst plugin path on windows c program files x86 steinberg vst plugin replug x86 for 32 bit version of vst plugins so I'll install them. I already installed them, so I'll cancel it. So just when you click install, it will be installed easily. Now you go to Audacity and uh, you have to do two more things in the preferences. Uh, first of all, you just check that uh, in the effect tab, uh, VST is checked here. Uh, Audacity can support different uh, type of plugins, LADSPA, LV2, Nyquist, WAMP and VST. Except VST, all other plugin format which is supported by Audacity are open source. VST is not exactly open source and developed by third party software developers. So we will enable that if it is not enabled. And in the sort or group, I'll select group by type. So when you select group by type, all the plugins will be listed according to the type like which is LADSPA, which is VST and which is Nyquist. So uh, it's easier to see them. I prefer it that way. Click OK. And now you can see there are category of plugins here. Uh, so we have to enable some of the VST plugins from add remove plugins first. And I sort it by path so you can see them. Uh, all replugs are start with prefix REA so you can easily see them here. So I enable just a couple of them. Re EQ enable, recomp and EQ and, and refer. Okay. So after enabling them, you can see there are another category added VST and you can see all the plugins which you have enabled currently. You can enable more if you want to. To apply effect, you need to select an area of uh, your audio or select the complete track. I'll just do an audition before I apply effect. The popular handicrafts of Kashmir is paper mache, carpets and the famous pashmina shawls along with exquisite embroidery and is well known worldwide. So I want to apply a little bit of compression in this audio. So I'll go to effect, select VST and select recomp here. Recomp is a compressor. I just increase attack uh, to my 10 milliseconds approximately here and release 200 something like that. A ratio I'll keep it 6 to 1 knee size I want just a soft knee I will not uh, need a hard knee hard knee will be a little aggressive application of the plugin so in its default uh, 
position it will just affect complete frequency spectrum of your audio you can adjust to make it little focused uh, frequency area you select it will be applied compression will be applied to that area only the most important uh, setting is threshold so you have to adjust the threshold to see the effect and i click the play button to see the effect you can the see the popular handicrafts of kashmir is paper mache carpets and the famous pashmina shawls along with exquisite embroidery and is well known so i want to worldwide. achieve a 3 db minus 3 db compression gain reduction here for the compression so i just select some minus 17 threshold is uh, the point where the compression starts kicking in triggering in so in this meter you can see that how much gain reduction is applied i'll not do too much and apply so compression is applied so this is how you apply your vst effects you can use any vst effects in audacity this way thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and learned something see you next video take care of yourself